Sean Ferfaro here with Radic Faxa, talking about his time as a kitchen arranger. First of all, Radic, thanks so much for taking time with us. Yeah, it's amazing. Always be glad to do something for kitchen. So when you think back about your time as a kitchen arranger, what comes to the forefront? What do you, what do you first think of when you think of your time in Kitchener? Well, I got just great, great memories, you know, uh, lots of great uh, teammates. My billet family was awesome. Uh, I'm still in touch with them. Uh, they were amazing to me, you know. Uh, it was like my first steps to getting to NHL, get drafted, and uh, I'll always appreciate all the stuff the Kitchener Rangers did for me. So when you think about your time in Kitchener, how much did that prepare you as, as much as it could, as close to a pro level of hockey, to become a professional hockey player? You've now been a pro player for a decade. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I felt like it was a big step for me coming from from Europe, you know. I think uh, if I didn't come to Kitchener from Europe, I would never play in NHL because uh, it's a different style of hockey. Uh, you know, the language and uh, all the stuff, uh, it learned me a lot. I would never be drafted so high as well, you know. And uh, I think uh, if I didn't come to Kitchener, I would never be in, in NHL. That's uh, what I think. I know that right now the Rangers have uh, a Czech player in Tomáš Hamra. Is he living with the same billet family that you had? Yeah, he's living in the same billet family. I was, I'm still in touch with them, so they told me that. And uh, I think it's the, they are great. Uh, he's lucky to be with them. How proud were you to see your, uh, your country win a silver medal at this past year's championship? Yeah, I, was I was really proud of them. You know, uh, it wasn't just uh, lucky. They played the whole tournament. They played really well. Uh, it was fun to watch. and. Uh, they almost beat the Canada in the finals too, uh, but uh, great tournament for them and uh, I think for their future, for their future, it's uh, amazing. It was really a momentous day in history for, for everyone. Um, when, when you think back to your time in Kitchener, if I were to push you to pick one favorite memory, what was your favorite memory as a Ranger? Uh, I think the first, uh, first game as, as a Ranger, you know, uh, I never played in front of uh, so many fans, so uh, that was probably the best moment. Yeah, the Kitchener odd, there's nothing like it on a Friday exactly, night, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, one of the great things about Kitchener is the fans and the community and the interaction that the team has. I showed you a picture right before you went on of you getting off the dunk tank uh, at, a, at a fan event. Um, what was it like for you interacting with fans in Kitchener? Yeah, it was something new for me because uh, junior hockey back home in Czech, there's not many fans, you know, and coming to Kitchener to Hockey Town, it was, it was, it was great. Uh, so many fans. Uh, you know, it, it always motivates you to play better, you know, give the best. And uh, when you have a sold out crowd every, every, every game, it always pushes you to do, to do your best. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed it so much. Well, you're reaping the dividends of it now, eight years uh, with the Dallas Stars. It's, uh, it's incredible. Finish this sentence for me, Radic. Being a Kitchener Ranger is. It's the uh, best time of my life. What a way to end it. Once a ranger, always a ranger. Radic Faxa, thanks so much. Thank you, guys.